In this first activity, we're going to create a program known as Hello World. And essentially what this program does is basically lets me put an object onto my form. And when I click that object, the program is going to give me feedback, basically acknowledging that I've clicked the object and it's going to display a message to the user. Um, this is one of the first programs that many people do when learning a programming language in order to see that they can get the actual programming language to give us a response and that we know what we're doing. So in order to do this program, there's going to be two elements. There's going to be the form itself and I'm going to be putting a button on my screen for me as the user to click. So I'm going to click on button and I'm going to click and drag and put it here. And here's my button. The next thing I need to do is change my properties of these two elements. So I'll do the form first. What I'm going to change first is its name and I'm going to make it FRM, which stands for form and hello. Obviously, naming objects is paramount because as we get into more complex programs, things need to be named relevantly so that when I code them, their names make sense and they're easier for me to remember. And the other property I'm going to change is the text. And I'm going to make that say, hello world. Okay, and once I do that, you can see it says hello world up here. Okay, next properties I've got to change is for my button. Now, for my button, it's text. I might just make it say, press me. And its name will be BTN, hello. It's always best to keep these names lowercase so that, because um, they are case sensitive and if you code it and you forget the casing, it can lead to errors with your program. And we want to minimize the amount of errors we can have. Also, we can't have spaces in our naming too, so just keep that in mind. Just to make it look a bit more interesting too, I might format my button a bit as well. So I might change the back color. And I might make it that it's black. And I'll change the four color as well, because obviously I can't see the button now. And I'll make that so that it's white. And I can change the font as well. Okay, and I'll make it that it is actually Arial. Let's go Arial rounded. And I'll make it much larger so that it fits into my button. Let's go OK. OK, and there we go. Nice and big there. OK, and really, OK, to become a good programmer and to get an attractive program, we have to dress our programs up so they stand out, OK? Just something to keep in mind. Now, finally is the most important part, and that's the coding itself. So what I'm going to do is double click on my button. And as you can see here, it already knows that it, I'm in BTN hello. So in BTN hello, or underscore click. So when this button is click, what's going to happen? Now, what I want to happen is message box dot show. Okay, and then I'm going to open brackets. Okay, and then in quotation marks, I want it to say, hello world. Okay, and that's my code for this actual program. A message box is going to show up and it's going to say, hello world. So I'm going to give this a try now. I'm going to click on play. Okay, and here's my program running. I'm going to click the button and there we go. Hello world. So... I hope you can see here basically how it all links to us actually coding individual objects on our screen and that's what we're going to be building upon with these videos. We created a button here, I click on it and then it gives me a message back to me as the user saying hello world. So I can make any type of message come as a response now. Uh, I encourage you now to try out making different buttons with different messages and to see what kind of feedback you can get the program saying back to you there. Give it a try, we're off to a good start.